Hey guys, Miss Saint20 here, and today we have got a player review for you guys, and it is on the man Niku Gaitan. Yes, he plays for Benfica, so it's kind of hard for me to um, give a positive review on a Benfica player since I am a Porto fan. So, you guys, if before we start, can you check out the link down below for some cheap Ultimate Team coins? And anyway, here we go. This is the man Gaitan. I use Catalyst on him, which increases his pace and passing. But of course, with 84 pace on the wing, you would like a bit more on that. I went for around 20 odd KB, is around 15k now because I did get him quite early on when he came out in the team of the week. So he's got four star skills, two star weak foot, which really does put me off since he is on the left. He's left foot, and then his two star weak foot makes him not being able to cut in. And if I do play him on the right wing, makes him absolutely useless in crossing it, crossing the ball in. Now, this is the team I use him in. Very nice creative hybrid. It's a BSG bronze, silver, gold hybrid. And it was very, very uh, nice to use. However, I, there was points where I, I didn't like in a team like uh, the striker Ingwain. He's not very good at the inform. Um, I find in the re review on him. Uh, and the main player in this team was Quadrado. So, Quadrado being way cheaper than Gaetan makes me think, how is Gaetan not better than Quadrado due, due to him being an inform? He is, I do expect a lot from informs because they are informs, you know what I mean? They have insane stats and then they don't end up performing and that's what Gaetan did. Sometimes he did perform really well, as you can see with his in-game stats. I'm going to show what actually what actual stats showed me that he could perform well in that, in that like criteria. So, first criteria he was very good at was beating players with his insane dribbling and an insane agility. He's got 94 agility and he's got 88 ball control and 90 dribbling. He could literally go past players so quickly and then he could do a great cross. That's why I loved him on the left that I'll do like these little feints or step overs and bang. I'll be past the player and I'll whip it in. Another thing I did like was his left foot shots across the goal. He does have 80 long shots so he did have a quite uh, a good crack on his left foot, but his right foot is absolutely useless. But the main attribute that I really did like about him was his passing. His passing was absolutely insane. That was was his best attribute. He was very good at passing ball around. He hardly ever missed a pass. Now, his pace, it's not that good. After I beat a player, it seemed like if I didn't get the ball out of my feet, he would get tackled. This leads to his strength being even worse. His strength is, he's so weak. Even though he's got great agility, he seems to not be able to stay on his feet. I don't know why, he goes past the player, then if the player still touches him, he's gone down, and it's not even a foul because he's that weak, I don't know, there's players which have less strength, and they seem to be better, I just think it's because of the pace, because he does have great agility acceleration, but then he doesn't have the sprint speed to keep him out of the way from these defenders. Then his first touch being 88 ball control, it doesn't seem 88 ball control, sometimes when he does receive the ball on the first touch, his first touch is a bit... Um, a bit disappointing at times. Other times it's a very inconsistent ball control slash dribbling because sometimes his dribbling is insane and then the next moment it's absolutely shocking. Uh, but the things that is most consistent for him are his shots. His shots are always on target, which I really do like. And of course, his passing. His passing is his main attribute. He is insane at passing the ball. Now, I'm going to talk about his negatives. What is really wrong with him? The big, as I've said, strength, his pace, and pretty much his ball control. And now, then what else is good is well what else is actually good is his dribbling that's pretty much it his dribbling and passing that's pretty much that's all it so now i'm going to show you some goals and i'm going to give you come back for the overview of the player So guys, hope you enjoyed those two little goals. I didn't get too many goals with him because he was mainly just passing the ball about and being a good player on the ball. But yeah, his positives are, as I said before, his passing and his shooting are his best attributes. And also, I do consider his work rate being very good because he did fight a lot of times for the ball, which I did really enjoy. Now, his next as I mentioned before and maybe didn't sound too clear, is that his pace is bad, his weak foot is absolutely horrible, and his first touch is on and off. I wouldn't uh, say it's his biggest negative, but it is 
a rather big negative due to being his 88 dribbling. It's not the biggest negative of him, but it is quite disappointing because he does have 88 dribbling, so you expect to him to have like 100% all the time, have an amazing touch, but sometimes he just flops the touch in his ball control. And then, for me, the biggest, biggest negative is him just being very, very weak. He just gets taken off the ball way too easily sometimes. He can beat the player. Uh, a few times, but it's kind of a 50-50 with him. He can beat the player, but then he gets caught, and then he just gets, you know, pooped on. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is a review. I give him a 6.7 out of 10 because, you know, he's not not the greatest. He wasn't he wasn't the worst, and he played for Mavica, so he's shit. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he, that's what I have to say. But yeah, uh, he was he was a decent player, decent player, guys. I do recommend on using him because it might be different for you guys. Because, you know, the other time I made a Ross McCormack review, I didn't like him, and a lot of people did like him. So, you know, it depends on each other's playstyle in a way. So, guys, that is all from me. If we get 10 likes on this video, it would be awesome. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.